come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for He is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are in need of mercy, compassion, and healing. We seek God's loving compassion and mercy. Before our loving Father, let us examine ourselves, acknowledge our sins, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But none pr proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and close up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like the olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. 
may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Please all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, alleluia. You and with your spirit are reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered the house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demons gone. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed morning to each one. Mayong aga sa tanan. How are you? Still good? Still alive? Thanks be to God. Yesterday, I had my regular checkup with my good doctor, Dr. Avil Yassin. And my reflections on that experience yesterday drawn me to appreciate the gospel of today. First, there was a long line. In the clinic, there was a long line. I entered 11 o'clock, and then I was number 31, and then Doctora was attending to number 10, number 11. So it was a long line. There were many sick who were um, looking for treatment and for a uh, checkup. And then it was a temptation for me, being a priest and being a good friend, to cut the line and to look for a privilege. But I did not do that because it is unfair. It is unfair to seek privilege in having a special line. So we have to attend to the long line even though you will take your queue at around past lunch 1 30 and there was a temptation no special treatment no privileged line follow the line and then temptation is ah next time na lang i will not anymore attend to my regular checkup next time because it's a, it's a temptation not to go to the line but you have to we have to wait like anyone else second there was this seeming hopelessness around it was brown out it was brown out in the clinic I don't know if you have experienced it no there is a regular brown out in Negros and Bacolod I went out to Our Lady's Hill, brown out. I went to the clinic, brown out. I don't know, no? Always brown out. Perhaps we are the brown out capital of the Philippines. Always brown out. And then, seeming problem that I always seek, it seems no solution, garbage. When I went to, to, the, to the city, around no? and then also to the way out of Our Lady Seal, I saw piles of garbage. There were many problems outside 
And then, come to think of it, there's also traffic, no? This is a situation, there is a hopeless situation, it seems. It adds to the burden that you carry. Deep within you, you're struggling, and then outside you, there are hopeless scenarios. Brownout, garbage, traffic. Nakaka-add kaya yan ng mga stress, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. There is a gloomy situation around. Tapos ikaw din, you are deep within you, you are carrying something. Third, that I also somehow a challenge to me, being on that long line, well, I am not popular, but some know me that I am a priest, and then, and I am young, and then I am with so many senior citizens in their 80s, in their 70s, no? I was there on the line. And then, Father, you're here! Father, you're here! And then, uh, you know, if you're a sick, if you are an daughter, as much as possible, it's secret. No? As much as possible, you don't... It's something that you have to... Well, I don't know if you... Uh, no, it's something that you have to keep on yourself. As much as possible, secret. If you may put kang sakit. But, because, it's, Father, you're here, no? Father, no? Dr. Willison is your doctor. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. And then, it is a prick to your pride also. You are young, you are a priest, and then you are something that you have something, and then you are there also, one of the line. You cannot but, let's admit it, be humble. Like you, I'm also in need of healing. Like you, I am also struggling with physical pain. Like you, I am in the same boat. Acceptance, humility. And that is very, very important. And temptation. Many times that in our journey to healing, as much as possible, we keep secret our vulnerabilities, our pain. But I discover that it is a part of also the process of healing to accept where you are and also to accept your vulnerability. Humility, humility, humility. That simple, concrete, actual experience yesterday drawn me to appreciate our gospel of today. Actually, when I was reflecting last night, naiyak nga ako eh. Because I was inspired with the faith of the Syrophoenician woman mother. She did everything for the healing of her loved one, of her daughter. Ang hirap bago makuha ang yes ni Jesus, bago gumaling ang kanyang anak, bagayo ang lawas ng kanyang bata. Nga how? This side of Phoenician woman mother is a pagan. In the Jewish society, they are outsiders. She came from Tyre, a Phoenician. So, remember, there is always this gap and also this uh, animosity between the Jew and the pagans. They are outsiders. They are not entitled to the privilege that the Jews, the chosen people, have been experiencing. And here is a woman, a pagan, a mother, and then approaching Jesus. Jesus is a Jew. And look at the how Jesus can the dog also take the food that is provided for them. The the, 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 the one will be given first are those who are deserving of the food, not the dogs. They were treated as dogs. And look at the wit of the woman. Even the crabs eat the, dog, eat the dog's food. Even the crabs. Kahit palit na bagay. And then, Jesus touch, was touched by that kind of faith response. Even the crabs we eat. And then also, there is this a sense of humility on the part 
of the Syrophoenician woman to approach Jesus. Remember, she's a lady, she's a woman. During that time, it's also difficult to approach a man, a rabbi, like Jesus. And then here, despite all these difficulties, and then the Lord saw it, felt the desire and the sincere faith of the Syrophoenician woman mother, she received her request. Brothers and sisters, no doubt, Jesus listens to our petitions, especially our healing request. If a simple person like you, when you see a sick person, you are moved and your heart really would like that this man, that this person, that this lady would be healed. What more Jesus, our Lord? Whether you are pagan or a chosen one, whether you are ordinary or influential, a woman or a man, in the, in the first reading, there's a complementarity, no exclusivity. Our Lord Jesus Christ would like always to have us the healing that we need. But, the healing as seen in the gospel of today there is a strong response of faith there is difficulty in the process it is not a walk in the park my brothers and sisters when you seek healing it is not a walk in the park it is not something that arose without thorns or it's something that it is a smooth sailing trip from Bacolod to Iloilo. When you travel on this journey to healing, expect difficulties, hopelessness around, and the pricking of the pride that we have. Brothers and sisters, we ask healing. We beg the Lord to heal us, body and spirit, and also our loved ones who are sick today. But remember, God listens to us, but always He needs the sincere faith that no matter what the difficulty is, we still rely on Him and we continue to put our heart, mind, and soul to His Word that we will be healed. Jesus' words are true and lasting and it's effective. Prayers of the faithful because of her humility and love for her daughter, she has answered the petition of a pagan woman Let's pray that our love may be encompassing, not exclusive or selective. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. May the church make herself a servant of Jesus, said love and mercy, and transmit mercy to all people, irrespective of race, religion, and cultural beliefs. We pray. Father, Father, help us to show your mercy to all. May government leaders and agencies attend to people in time of need, irrespective of their political affiliation. We pray. Father, help us to show mercy to all. May we have recourse to God with humility and trust, knowing that all that we have and all that we are come from Him. We pray. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. May we not boast of our accomplishments, but say rather, we are useless servants. We have done nothing more than our duty. We pray. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. May mothers who grieve because of their children who are ill or who have gone astray experience the same help that Jesus bestowed upon the Syrophoenician woman, we pray. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. 
We pray for the eternal repose of all those who have died, thousands who have died because of the earthquake in Turkey, Syria, and Lebanon. In solidarity with them, we pray also for their families and for the rehabilitation being done, recovery being done in those affected areas. We pray. Father, help us to show your mercy to all. Lord God, your mercy is for all, even for those who do not acknowledge you as God. May all recognize the signs of their fatherly love and so in gladness confess you as one true God and Father of the human race. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, foot of dirt and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings that purified by your graciousness, we be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, all the clergy and all the consecrated. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, with the blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have blessed throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O 
my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. 
pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.